So another really interesting question um, in regards to death. So when we die, will our conscious experience carry over with that? Like, for example, when I die, will my memories still be within me? Will this subjective I-ness, right, exist within me, this intentionality? Will, will I still be me from the first person experience? Absolutely. And um, we now have... Uh, I mean, there have been 300 million near-death experiences in the world. In the United States, uh, there have been uh, something like 15 million, uh, one out of every 25 persons has had an NDE in the, in the last 30 years. Uh, so these, are, these have now been studied thoroughly by a group of highly credible academics that all were skeptical of them until they researched them and almost virtually every single one of them became a believer in NDEs. I'll give you an example and then I'll answer your question. Two, two research professors at the University of Connecticut Medical School did a study on 25 patients who were born blind and had never seen anything, but had near-death experiences. And when they came back, reported a whole range of things they had seen, but they lost their sight when they returned to their body. They, re they did research on these 25 patients. There are more of them, but they chose these 25. And it, they, they uh, demonstrated that, that it is beyond any question that they gained sight during this experience because they were able to describe things that were easily verifiable that they could not have described by just feeling and so on. So now what, what, what these people report uh, is that they do, it's not just consciousness that survives, but it's the self that has consciousness. So they are aware that they themselves are looking at their body and observing what the doctors are doing to revive them. They are aware of an angel or a deceased relative taking them through a tunnel to, and they meet Jesus Christ or, and on it goes. So uh, from tens of thousands of reports, the uniform acknowledgement is that not only does one's consciousness and one's memories continue, but so does the person or the self without a body admittedly, but the soul of the self of the person who has those memories and consciousness continues as well. This is now I think beyond reasonable doubt. And if you add to it the evidence for the resurrection of Jesus and the promise that we will be with him in paradise, um, I think the deal is, for me, is closed. I have absolutely no fear of death. Absolutely none. My wife and I are actually looking forward to it. Uh, that's the God's truth. We, not, I'm not looking forward to the way, certain ways of dying. I mean, like my friend said, I, I don't mind dying. It's I don't want to get through the pe people. Yeah, through I, I, that's what scares most people. Just, you know, how it's yeah. going to happen, right? You yeah, know, that's yeah. the scary part. But if you just fall asleep, peacefully and don't wake up. Well, maybe that's good. I think that might be a good way to go. <laughs> be a bad way to go. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um,